border dispute could wind up in court. New Hampshire's governor is suing Massachusetts over what he calls an unfair tax on people working from home. Governor Sununu says New Hampshire residents who work for Massachusetts companies shouldn't have to pay a 5% income tax, especially when they're no longer commuting over the border. Anna Ritas Rodriguez has the story. We've been told we will not be going back this year. So. For months, Derek Marcon's been working from home in Londonderry, New Hampshire. His real office sits empty, 40 miles south in Cambridge. And despite that, he's paying Massachusetts income tax. I've been working from home since the beginning of March. This is uh, quite a long time. I haven't been driving into the state. To hear that now that we're going to be mandated to pay this full tax, not, you know, and, and not to receive any benefit, it's just... Uh, it was just a very difficult thing to hear. The 5% tax to remote workers went into effect over the summer. This is what New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu had to say about it then. You don't come and start taxing people across the border. You don't start creating new rules and new gimmicks because you haven't created a successful model like New Hampshire has. Days after that interview, he threatened legal action. And we're fighting that. And today, after Massachusetts extended the emergency rule through at least the end of the year, Sununu tweeted, he's suing the state. Right in part, I have immediately directed the New Hampshire Department of Justice to file a lawsuit in the U.S. Supreme Court against the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. They have launched a direct attack to pick the pockets of our citizens. Pre-pandemic, about 100,000 Granite Staters traveled to Massachusetts for work. Critics of the challenge say those who benefit from the Commonwealth's economy should pay their fair share. Do the right thing. You know, we're, I'm not saying that I'm expecting 100% back, but, you know, it certainly would be a nice thing to be able to get some money back. Times are tough enough as they are. In a statement, a spokeswoman for the Massachusetts Department of Revenue said that the temporary regulations are similar to those adopted by other New England states. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News. Anna thank you. The